Dear students, let me present to you an example relating to the concept of independence. Suppose that we have two continuous random variables, x1 and x2, with joint PDF f of x1, x2 equal to x1 plus x2 such that x1 lies between 0 and 1 and x2 also lies between 0 and 1 and f of x1, x2 is equal to 0 elsewhere. Now we want to see that this joint PDF is that x1 or x2 are they independent? Can we regard them as independent random variables? So, how will we proceed? We know that independence ki jo shart hoti hai, that is a simple equation that f of x1, x2 is equal to f1, x1 multiplied by f2, x2. So, obviously, all that I have to do is to try to determine the two marginal PDFs, f1, x1 and f2, x2. So, let's do it. f1, x1, agar nikal na hai, to kya karna chahiye? Obviously, we will take the integral of f of x1, x2 with respect to x2. x1 ka nikal rahe hai, to zahir hai ke x2 ke hisab se integrate karenge. So, if we do that, what do we get? The integral from 0 to 1 of x1 plus x2 with respect to x2 is equal to what? It is x1 x2 plus x2 square over 2 and then we apply the limits 0 to 1. Abhi jo mene kaha, usme I hope you realize that because we are integrating with respect to x2, therefore x1 is acting as a constant. Isi liye wo jo pehle shuru mein x1 hai, uske saath x2 attach ho jayega because x1 is acting like a constant. Alright, now let us apply the limits. Ye jo expression hai, is mein aap pehle 1 insert kar dein. Kaha pe? Wherever you, you, have, you find x2, replace it by 1. Aur uske baad minus karein. Aage kya likhenge? Wohi expression but replacing x2 by 0. Wherever you find x2, you replace it by 0. The simple way of doing integration and all these things. All right, now you solve it and what do you get eventually? You get x1 plus 1 by 2. So that's the first marginal PDF that we have obtained. What is it? f1 x1 is equal to x1 plus 1 by 2. But of course, you can't just write this much and think that the story is over. You must put a comma after that and you must write 0 less than x1 less than 1 with that expression. Because no PDF complete nahi ho sakta jab tak ke aap uske expression ke saath uska jo variable hai, uski jo domain hai, usko aap mention na kare. So, because here bivariate PDF ke andar x1 was going from 0 to 1, so now it has to be the same. Alright, now let us find the other marginal PDF. F2 x2, now we have to remove it. So, what do we do? Exactly the same procedure that now it is the integral of x1 plus x2 with respect to x1. पहले x1 की निकाल रहे थे तो x2 के हिसाब से इंटीग्रेट किया था अब हमें मार्जिनल x2 की चाहिए सो so हम x1 के हिसाब से इंटीग्रेट कर रहे हैं एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस x2 इज एक्टिंग एज अ कांस्टेंट तो बिल्कुल उसी तरह के स्टेप्स हैं एंड व्हाट डू वी गेट वी गेट f2 x2 is equal to x2 plus 1 by 2 and then we put a comma and after that we write 0 less than x2 less than 1. Because our original joint PDF, hai, usme x2 jo hai, that is also going 
from 0 to 1. All right, now that we have got both of the marginal PDFs, students, let us multiply them and find out what we get if this product is exactly equal to f of x1, x2, then of course we can say that the random variables x1 and x2 are independent. Lekin, agar wo barabar nahi hai, then we cannot say that. So let us see what we get. x1 plus 1 by 2 multiplied by x2 plus 1 by 2. Obviously, it will be equal to x1, x2 plus 1 by 2 times x1 plus 1 by 2 times x2 plus 1 by 4. Or jo hamara f of x1, x2 hai, wo kya hai? That is simply x1 plus x2. So there is no way we can say that that product is equal to f of x1, x2. So then what is our final conclusion? The uh, conclusion is that for this particular joint probability density function, f of x1, x2, the two random variables x1 and x2 are not independent.